At night before we go to bed, I read the Jesus book to my little children. It astonishes me their perspective and how they understand the things that we read about Jesus and his truth. The other night, we were reading the story of where Jesus goes into the temple and drives out the people who are selling things there. In their little version, it says that Jesus drove the people out who were doing bad in church. I thought to myself that my little girls have no idea what church is. It reminded me of how Jesus says, that the house that is built on the sand will be washed away, but the house that is built on the rock will stand when the floods and the rains come. I grew up in church, and my whole life was founded on the sand of church. Everything of my, my life revolved around it. If my parents read to me a story about church, I would relate to it because church was my life. If I had any friends, they were friends from church. If I was going anywhere or on vacation anywhere, it had to do with church. My entire life revolved around that. But my family now, my children, have no idea what church is in the eyes of men today. Their perspective is the perspective of Jesus and his truth. Jesus has called me to build on the rock, which is him, not on the sand, which is church. It is a blessing to raise our family on the rock, on the foundation, and to have our entire life surrounding the foundation which is Jesus and his teachings. Those who build their life on the teachings of Jesus will stand even when the storms and the rains come. But those who build their entire life on the sand, the doctrines of men in church, will fall and they will come to a ruin when all the troubles of life come. Are you and your family building your foundation on the sand or on the rock of Jesus? May the grace of Jesus be with you.